Happy February 13th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, we met Ivy Brightfeather, and uh, here she is. I spent some time in Hero Forge. Um, we started with a Raven Folk. Uh, bright feather just seemed to lend itself to um, a bird critter so here we are um, Ravens uh, and for some reason Ivy you know in my brain uh, mapped to ivory and so I was thinking the whole time that she was um, her plumage was white and I, I did look up they're very rare but white Ravens do exist um, it's not necessarily an albino species because it, uh, or a condition because it doesn't affect their eyes in fact the white ravens tend to have blue eyes so I've given her blue eyes here uh, the specific condition is called lu leucine leucistic I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce it but in any case uh, we've got ourselves a white raven um, uh, they, they're so rare um, they have some meaning in mythology and that sort of thing. They tend to, uh, they actually use them in uh, Game of Thrones. They signified a change in seasons or a change in um, fortune. So a uh, fitting uh, critter to transition, transition to here as we move from the introductory characters to the, um, uh, to the rest of the year. So this is Ivy. Um, what else do we have going on here? Uh, I gave her, I gave her these massive wings. Uh, you'll see the raven folk don't come with, come with them, but the wings are just too cool. Um, and they're enormous. XL here means I'm going to have to pay more <laughs> if I ever want to buy her, uh, from Hero Forge. Um, what else? Let's see, gear. I gave her, um, how do I get to it? Here we go. Sword. Sill had a broad sword. I gave, um, I gave Ivy here a noble long sword. She's a member of the Royal Guard, so that made sense to me. Um, clothing. Let's see. I used an outfit. This is easy mode. Again, you can pick all these things individually, but I just scrolled down here, found one I liked called the night challenger outfit and then in the color section you can i did paint a couple things specifically but i started with a theme again easy mode um there's a number of things here you can pick this one is called celestial crusader which seems to fit our uh, our light uh keeper is what i'm calling her so very sim uh, same abilities essentially as sill so she's got a luminous shield and a solar flare and all that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, that is Ivy looking good. And let's see. So with that done, uh, let's see what the calendar has for us for Tuesday. Congratulations, you gained enough experience to increase your hero's level. Follow the instructions for leveling up. Now, um, this is a strange week, so I have been peeking ahead a little bit just to see what's up. We're basically spending all week, I think, just sort of um, getting our hero leveled up and ready and such. So there are specific... Here, I'll pull this up. Boop. Um, here we go. Specific instructions on how to level up. You increase heroes level to two, which I've done on the sheet here. Level two. Uh, you have two points to allocate however you choose to increase any of your hero's traits, strength, dexterity, constitution, intellect, wisdom, and charisma. And Sill, let's see, level one Sill. These were her stats, plus two strength, plus deck, plus one dex, minus ones to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So I went with, I uh, kept strength and dexterity and constitution, and I added a point of wisdom and a point of charisma. 
because that seemed kind of a, a kind of a paladin -y thing to do. Um, I don't know. Charisma hasn't really come into play with Syl. She's got this intimidation ability, um, but th those have been strength rolls. Normally, in other role-playing games, they would they're typically more charisma. Sometimes in old, like in old school D and D, charisma affected how many um, party member, how many followers, how many henchmen you could have, and um, so maybe that'll come into play with how our party members and stuff. I'm not sure. Um, so that's what I did there, and then looking at what they what they said to do for Syl, that's what I did for Ivy here. So our HP is now 13, it used to be nine at level one. Our attack went up one, our defense went up one, and our damage die went from a D8 to a D12. So that's pretty great. We also, let's see, I carried over the virtue point um, in the inventory. It's <coughs> excuse me, instructed us to do that sort of thing. And then surges, she gets another surge. So Ivy has two surges that she can use. She can spend those however she wants on these abilities that cost surges, luminous shield and solar flare. But she gained a few new abilities as well. So we've got um, danger sense. She can add plus two to all rolls to avoid traps and surprise hazards. Uh, athlete, add plus two to all rolls to overcome physical and athletic hurdles. And Royal Might, once per page, reroll D20 plus strength. So she's a, she's a strong raven. <laughs> and athletic. So that is, uh, that's Ivy Brightfeather at level two. And that, my friends, is February 13th. Uh, so we shall say goodbye for today and visit Ivy again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.